See, there have been a lot of sex scandals in the past couple of weeks. Most recently, allegations against Detroit's mayor, Kwame Kilpatrick. We have the former New York governor, Elliot Spitzer's alleged escapades with a prostitute. And now, the new governor of New York as well. I, David A. Patterson, do solemnly swear. I, David A. Patterson, do solemnly swear. I would like to thank the Chief Judge, Judith Kaye, for administering that oath. The Chief Judge, who I believe will go down in history as one of the greatest Chief Judges the state has ever had. Pictures to prove it. I've got the proof. I would like to thank my colleague in government, the Attorney General of the State of New York, Andrew Cuomo. <laughs> The junior senator from New York, none other than Senator Hillary Clinton. And the reason for my confession is that I learned my lesson. And I Indeed, I did have a relationship with Mr. Lewinsky. No, 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 baby. No, 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 don't lie. I want to introduce my wife and lifelong friend, Michelle Page Patterson. <laughs> Michelle and I have a different kind of a marriage. For today, like we always do, in spite of the obstacles, regardless of the circumstances, we move forward. Baby, come back to hell. You can blame it all on me. Is there such a thing as too much information? <laughs> Joining us now to discuss why men cheat are Dr. Helen Fisher, anthropologist and author of Why We Cheat, Susan Shapiro Barish, author of Little White Lies, Deep Dark Secrets, and Matt Titus, author of Why Hasn't He Called? <laughs> <laughs> there you questions. go. Morning to everybody. I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. Okay, because men's actions are driven on sexual impulse. Our filter doesn't exist a lot of times where we think about forward thought and repercussions. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's also, a, an immature thought, isn't it? Men are, who are grown ups. Shouldn't they be able to think? Absolutely, but our sexual impulse, because of our ge genetics, sort of mm -hmm. takes over. Well, I think it's even deeper than that. I mean, you know, there's many reasons why people are adulterous. I mean, people sometimes want to get caught to patch up their marriage, uh, to supplement their marriage, to have a walk on the wild side, to have some danger, to have excitement. But there's also biological evolutionary reasons. I mean, you know, for oh, men... Basically, isn't most of the research says no species is literally... That's right. We have all those myths Monogamous. about swans mating for life yeah. and all those others. And they cheat too. Well, I've looked at 100 here. species and um, they've not found any that, uh, that in which all individuals are, right. are faithful. But yes. well, women do cheat better than men and they tend not to get caught as much. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and that's, that's why the data shows that more men cheat. We always wonder, you know, because about 30% of men will say that they cheat and fewer percent say of women who Wait, cheat. Hang on, but, I need you know, who are they? Why are women better? They're better at keeping secrets, and they navigate this. Be they are very determined. If a uh -huh. woman has an affair, she's getting from the lover what she can't get from her husband. Right. That's so reassuring, to... Carrie, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Great. Or they're Wonderful. supplementing it. Sometimes people are happily in their uh, marriage, uh -huh. and then they will yeah. they'll supplement the relationship to get things that they can't find in the well, marriage. Well, that's a very sophisticated sort of mm -hmm. François Mitterrand it, sort but, uh, of, you know, this is how we do it in Europe. But the it's, only time that a woman gets caught is if she uses the affair to renegotiate her marriage. And men don't do it that way. Lie till you die. Lie till you, lie till you die. die. I but guess. But a woman you know, not I, scoring any points I, I, no, I'm, I'm just trying to bring it as it is. I was. I was married and I I, I cheated right. and it was a horrible thing that I did and I think it was because I didn't have the necessary ingredients within my marriage mm -hmm. to keep it sustained right. and monogamous. And um, listen, I'm mar happily married now. I got a second chance at love. I couldn't be any more fortunate. But the difference between me now and me then, when I walk by a beautiful woman in the street and she looks back at me, which does still happen, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't turn around and so do a 180 rarely. and lie about being married and try to take her out to lunch and have sex with her. Mm -hmm. You know, because I'm thinking forward right. in a forward manner. I, I don't want to lose my current situation. I love my wife and I've went through that before. Do you guys think it's wrong? Because Governor Patterson is now being criticized for saying, my wife and I have a different kind of marriage. Mm -hmm. Do you admire them for admitting 
Hey, we're, we're going to do this and it works for us. At least we're not lying to each other. I think that every single good marriage is different in its own way. And all most bad marriages are, 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 are bad in the same simple ways. And our culture so idealizes romantic love and monogamy, yeah. and yet there are mixed messages. But I think it's a cop-out. I you think know, that kind of marriage is, hang on, hang is, hang a, is a big cop-out. Is it a mythology, though? Why is it that we embrace this myth if the reality is mm -hmm. so many men cheat, so many women cheat? Why so, have we... The, the Europeans don't why even married, understand right? why we're in a flap about this. It's, it is our culture. It is yeah. the culture. It is the culture. Why it goes married? back to the pilgrims? Or? Well, we're, well, we're very puritanical. Very puritanical. Right. Is it okay. why get married or why uh, denounce cheating? What's the better question? Well, but no one goes down the aisle saying, gee, I wonder when I'll have my first affair. Mm -hmm. It's that we live a long time and there's a lot of disappointment in marriage. And for women in particular, mm -hmm. choosing a lover is trying to get, you as can, I said, something different. You can keep a marriage alive and you can, you can keep it like a big first date. And in my book, that's what I talk about. Yeah. You know, why do people, why does complacency take over? That's what because causes cheating. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're now putting people who are madly in love and report that they're still in love in a long-term relationship into a brain scanner. And as it turns out, um, you can have a marriage of 25 years and still have some of those brain circuits for intense romantic love. Right. Um, what are the keys? Yeah, what do <laughs> they say? How do they do it? Novelty? Novelty? Yeah. Yeah. Do really like it together. Together. the first date. First date, you have to keep it alive in, in mystery. Why does yeah. everybody become one? Mm -hmm. Have your own separate, independent uh -huh. lives. You know, it's mysterious. It's interesting. I don't know where my wife is all the day long. And I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing. Yeah. You know, I think it's great. She has her own life. And for but years, marriage is hard sorry. work. It truly is yeah. hard work. And people aren't always prepared for that. Again, it's just so idealized. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But sure. for millions of years, you know, uh, we didn't live on top of each other. I mean, men went hunting for days. Women went gathering for days. They had a lot of other friends in the relationship. You know, so uh, we put so much into our marriage. And by the way, we're working harder on our marriages right now than at any time in but human history. But the whole institution is flawed. We're Hunting. not supposed to have sex with one woman. It's, it, we never have a species. So, so why'd you get married again? Because I was, I was, why Maggie? What are you doing? Me? Because I was, I was tired. I was having, I was tired of having sex with too many women. No, that's not but the Matt, answer. But there's the problem also because there's a double standard. There True. really is that men were always given tacit approval to have affairs while women were expected to be really above it. But that's really changing now. And that is changing. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, totally. look, look at the royals. I mean, uh, Diana right. was just as adulterous as her husband, right. and the world forgave her and thought he was a creep. How much does it have to do with power? How much of it is? adventure and how much of it is I'm the big politician, the head of whatever corporation. Well, they blah, get a blah, lot blah. of opportunities. What's That's that? That's right. They get enormous number of opportunities. And, and we live in a patriarchal culture. And power is sexy. Yeah. Power. And women, women are love, women yeah. are ready to yeah. you know make some sacrifices so to mice sleep and with. And, and also, what you say? so do mice and sheep. I mean, the uh, females of all three of species are attracted to the male with the best piece of real estate, the biggest feathers, the the most power. So, uh, and, and in our culture, provide. particularly, you know, male supremacy. So men in power. Still, really, you feel. Of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 we we'll live in a patriarchy. Yeah. Okay. So now so you had this adulterous uh, relationship yes. during your first marriage. Thanks, Harry. Do you feel like? Well, you brought it <laughs> yes. up. Yes. Do you feel like that once and for all? Since that it sounds yes, like the downfall of your marriage. It was, and I ended up on somebody's couch for six months with mm -hmm. nothing. Yeah. That tends to change the way you think, Harry. Yeah. So basically, I um, it's not worth it anymore. No woman on this side is worth losing what I have. That's forward uh, thought. That's maturity. Mm. That's where you want every man to be. That's where, that's where women want men to be. Is that a realistic expectation? I think he's stellar. <laughs> yeah, right? But we don't always see it that way. Yeah. But let's not forget that women do this too. Yeah. yeah. Women let's, have affairs. Let's leave it on the romantic point. I, I agree. Yeah. All right, Matt. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Hello.